Hello everyone, in this video, I will explain how to integrate Salesforce with Chatchpat. To begin, you need to generate a Chatchpat API key. I will provide all the necessary information on how to generate this API key in the video description. Just follow these simple steps to generate the key. Then, go to the quick find box and search for remote site settings. Then click on the new remote site button and add 8 TPs. Kai OpenAI, com as the endpoint URL for OpenAI. Save the settings once you have added the URL. Next, search for CSP trusted sites in the quick find box. Click on new trusted site and add the same HTTPs. Appenai OpenAI, com URL for OpenAI. Make sure to activate the site and select all the checkboxes below. Finally, save the settings. Let's go through the code and understand its functionality. This Apex class named Chatchput Controller is a server-side controller class used in Salesforce Lightning applications. It is responsible for making HTTP requests to an OpenAI API endpoint to interact with the ChatGPT generative pre-trained transformer model. Tadak Tactica. This private static variable stores the API key required to authenticate the request to the OpenAI API. It is retrieved from a custom setting. Endpoint C. This private static final variable stores the URL of the OpenAI API endpoint for generating completions. To get query data, this method is marked with a no row enabled enabled annotation, making it accessible from Lightning components. It takes a tail search string parameter, representing the text prompt to be passed to the chat GP dev model. The method performs the following steps. First trims the onSearch string to remove any leading or trailing white space. in. Second, creates an instance of the date TP class to make the ATP request. A. Third, constructs the request body as a JSON object containing the model name, Heltonic Text Davinci 3. The prompt text, maximum tokens to generate 4000, temperature value, 0, and other parameters. Sets up the ATP request by setting the endpoint URL, method, post. Authorization header with the API key, timeout duration, 120 seconds, and content type header. Sets the request body as the AJSON object created earlier. Sends the HTTP request using the .op. Send request in, method and captures the response in an IP response and object. Checks if the response status code is not 200 indicating an error, and logs the error message if applicable. Returns the response body, the generated completion, as a string, in case of any exception. It catches the exception, logs it, and throws an ARA handled exception with the exception message. Overall, this Apex class is responsible for making a request to the OpenAI API with a given search query and retrieving the response. The response can then be used in a Lightning component. The component is wrapped inside a Allen Lightning card and element, which provides a card-like container with a title and content area. e Shin, the card there is a media section that displays an avatar image and a title. The image source is bound to the iMajoral property defined in the JavaScript code. B. The media body contains a heading and a subtitle for the card. B. Below the media section, there is a Belling Lightning layout element that arranges its child components in a horizontal layout. U. Within the layout, there is a Thangle Lightning inputting component that serves as a search input field. Its value is bound to the OSearch string property defined in the JavaScript code. Next, to the search input, there is a Day Lightning button component labeled Submit that triggers the search functionality when clicked. Below the layout, there is an Add a Templates and Block with a conditional rendering directive. True Ferif, true a search result. It ensures that the content inside this block is only displayed when the or search result property has a truthy value. NIL. Inside the conditional block, there is another lightning card component that displays the search result. It has a title and a keen diving element with a class of search result text that contains the actual search result text. Now, let's move on to the JavaScript code. B. The component is defined as a default export of the Enchichach component class, extending a lightning element from the Lu C framework. V. The Mu Track decorator is used to define the reactive properties or search string and do search result, which can be updated and trigger re rendering of the component when their values change. B. A. The Anning API decorator is used to define the image journaling property as an externally accessible property, allowing it to be set from the parent component or app. B. The initial search change method is triggered whenever the value of the search input field changes. It updates the osearch string property with a new value. The Yandel submit method is called when the submit button is clicked. It invokes the educate query data apex method, defined externally, with the current search string value. D. The return data is parsed from JSON format. If the end response, choices array has at least one element, the first choice's text is assigned to eSearch result. Otherwise, the in-search resultant is set to no answer found. Me. Any errors that occur during the API call are caught and logged to the console. I can add some CS code inside this component, so let's move on to the LACS code. E. CS code defines the styling for the O-search result text class, which is applied to the telling DVM element inside the search result a lightning card. It sets the padding, background color, and margin properties for the search result text area. And lastly, move to the XML configuration code. The XML code represents the metadata configuration for the lightning web component bundle. In this example, the target is set in a lightning tab. Only the O Lightning table target is specified, indicating that the component can be used within a tab in the Lightning Experience UI. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.